Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a squad builder featuring two awesome man of the match strikers. I'm sure you guys know who they are. They're going to be Vieto and Rondon, but we'll get on to them in just a second. First off, if you guys are looking for any ultimate team coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. Use my code LA5TY. That'll get you 10% discount and the link you need down below in the description. Smash that like on the video as well today, boys. 2,000 likes would be immense. We've got upgraded farming in goal for this squad today. He he is probably better than Neuer, in my opinion, which is nuts. Uh, but we're continuing on the German Bundesliga theme. And, well, basically, we've got a strong Bundesliga defence. We've got Alaba, who's actually Austrian, not German. Um, but he's got an incredible card. Lots of pace. Diekmeier as well. My favourite right back on the entire game. He is nuts. He's got 90 pace, 71 defending, 72 physical. And he's six foot two as well. Nice and strong. Then we got Rudiger. I think this is probably the best Bundesliga partnership of centre-backs you can get. Uh, Rudiger, the non-rare silver, because he's just rapid and awesome. And then upgraded Jerome Boateng. You guys know I've got a thing for him, and to have him as an upgraded card is just epic. Can't wait for him to have an amazing season and get some sort of team of the season card. That would be absolutely redonkulous, and the stats would be crazy. This is the midfield, then, in this 4-4-2 today. We've got upgraded Pablo Piatti, who I've got to say... Kind of does nothing. He's only five foot four, so he's so so weak that it's kind of difficult for him to be able to do anything, which um, is a major problem, of course. It really is. You've got Hulk on the right-hand side who does get involved a bit more. I actually really like playing with him this year. He's uh, very grounded, you know what I mean? He's got great, great dribbling, decent pace, and he feels kind of like... Kind of hench, which of course he definitely is, and you can feel it in game as well. You got Axel Witzel as a centre midfielder here. He did a lot of work for me. He's a very, very good statted across the board player. So is Enzo Perez, actually. This is an upgraded transfer card. Uh, decent defensive work rate there for a centre midfielder. Means he doesn't push up too far and actually gets a few assists as well. I really like this Perez. But of course, it's all about these two today. We've got Vieto and we have got Rondon. Now, using Vieto, um, I, I absolutely loved him. I thought he was great. He was 160k when I bought him. No idea what he's currently going for right now. But high low work rates, four star skill moves. I mean, this guy is an upgrade from a silver. And now he's got 85 pace and 82 shooting. He has got an upgraded gold card, of course. But this is Rondon, second in form, basically. Bas this man of the match is his second um, special card, if you like. 82 rated with 82 pace and 86 shooting. 84 physical as well. He's six foot two and he's built like a brick shit house. He's absolutely absolutely massive when you're in game he is absolutely hench a little bit like hulk this squad i reckon is around 350k at the moment all depending on what those man of the match cards cost the rest of the players don't really cost you that many coins again maybe boateng and that uh, is a bit expensive but other than that it's the main orange two which are the expensive ones the squad's not that crazy it's not exactly a major hybrid or anything but i wanted to build a nice overpowered squad that features these two man of the match cards because I I was winning games pretty much I think I lost two games in a row or th no I lost three games in total but two in a row and it wasn't good um, but then this team just came alive like oh my god it was insane um, Vieto seemed to be the sort of player that would score those poacher goals which I was expecting a little bit more flair from him like right here he, he misses a penalty but then unlike Messi he actually sticks the rebound in the back of the net um but Rondon was probably the main man. He got more goals than Vieto did. I was pretty much trying to get the ball to Rondon because he interested me a little bit more than Vieto, <coughs> than Vieto did. Sorry. Um... It was just, he's a, he's a cool player. Like, Rondon is just not someone you're used to because he's he's like the size of a centre-back. And he kind of looks like a centre-back. Like, he's big and bulky, um, but he moves. And he's got four-star skills, and he knows how to finish the ball. It's great. Uh, it's awesome fun to use. Um, but Vieto did actually score me a couple of nice goals, I have to admit. And you'll get we'll get to them in a moment. But you could do this all day long with Rondon. Just sort of uh, LBY over the top, uh, and he's going to run onto it. You can do it with both of them, as you can see right here they're both very good finishers i think with these man of the match cards ea tend to put some quite nice uh, some quite nice stats on them and some good in-game stats as well haven't actually had a look at them but you can tell when using these players that their finishing must be pretty damn high um, so if anyone knows the in-game stats you can drop me a comment down below that'd be absolutely awesome um, but we get on to the slightly better goals of the video right now i think uh, vieto uh, when he powers through he's absolutely rapid like he's you can tell he's a lot quicker and a lot more sort of 
more agile than Rondon is. Um, but then again, for a big guy, Rondon knows his stuff and he does very, very well. Uh, I've got like five or six more goals to show you. We did score one really nice one with Rondon at the end, which we'll get to obviously in just a second. But the ball rolls work incredibly well here. Of course, you can do the advanced roulette with both players as well because they are both four-star skillers. Um, and it's a, it's a great partnership because if you think of Vieto as the little and quick one and then Rondon as the big, massive bulky guy well he's actually got pace as well so that works out very nicely he's the one that you're going to aim it to if you're going to put it in the air though and here's a good example of course Alaba whips it in and a solid powerful header to the back of the net from Rondon right there but look at the skill moves and the little just the flair and stuff of Vieto is good fun and the final goal looks a little bit like this we're going on a tear with Alaba down the left hand side we triple tap it in and take a look at the finish oh little skill he'll click thing into the back of the net I really like that one so I'm going to show you again and again but if you've enjoyed the video guys please don't forget to smash a like on it if you build the squad let me know by tweeting me a picture on Twitter catch you next time boys peace